Hey everybody, happy new year. I know it's getting old. Uh, it's January 4th and uh, I think it's time to stop saying that. I'm not sure. I'm not sure when the cusp is. But anyways, I've got this box in front of us and uh, I've already snuck a little bit of a peek. I just looked at a couple of rolls. But uh, we're going to get into this $500 worth of quarters and see what happens. Wish me luck. Look at this one. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't know what's that, what that's going to be, but uh, it, it looks a lot like when you get a coin that looks like this on the edge and it's a half dollar, it, it looks like it could be a quarter proof. I'm not sure that it's going to be. It might be just a new one, but we'll see. Nope, it's just a new one. It's a lol. And it's a P. Wow, that's a really outstanding, outstanding P. My phone's not wanting to cooperate. Cooperate. Here we go. It's a really nice Philadelphia. Lowell. I think I'll keep that one. It might replace one in my collection. I'll put that right there. And uh, we've also found a San Antonio Missions, and I don't have enough of those in my collection yet, so I'm keeping that one. It's from Philadelphia. And another... Uh, I, I don't like the term Little Drummer Boy, so I'm going to continue to call it Bicentennial. Another Bicentennial. So yeah, I'll pull you back in if I find something else. Okay, we got a nice pretty thick one here. We got a couple of shinies, but mostly just that thick one. And the same as before, I think it might be a proof, but it might not. And we'll see. We open it up. It's not a proof. I don't believe. No. It is a 2017. Wow. Happy full. It's a thick edge. Or did I miss it? No, nope, that wasn't it. That was it. So we got a couple of shinies here. And surprisingly, none of them are from this year. Oh, this one's from this year and it doesn't even look all that new. So, born in Pacific, P. Looks pretty beat up for something that just came out. Okay, I will, well, let's check out the shiny one. Frederick Douglass P. I'll bring you back in if I find anything else. Okay, guys, we got something very, very interesting. And, uh, <clears throat> unprecedented. Never seen anything like it before. Sorry for the noise. I just gotta get everything straightened away here. All right. I'm sure you can already see it. And there's a couple of other shiny coins in there. But, uh, let's take a look at the shiny coins first. Okay, AMP, P, Philadelphia. There's a shiny one right there. Ooh, that's a really nice 2018. Delaware. Oh, psh, I did it again, Delaware. Denver, hello. I'm telling you. But this is the weird one. Okay, check that out. Check that out. It's not even a coin, I don't think. It's going to be like a token. Oh no, it is a coin. Ten cents. What? Where is that from? The Bahamas. I have never seen anything like that. That is so cool. Come on, focus. Focus. Right there. You want to do it right there, yeah. How cool is that? Commonwealth of the Bahamas. Ten cents. That's a pretty coin. And it's in really decent condition. 
Wow, I've never seen anything like scalloped like that around the edges. That's pretty cool. And I love fishing, so hello fish. That's pretty cool. That's going in the collection for sure. I'll bring it back if I find something else. Okay, everybody. I didn't even recognize that this was a uh, noise. That this was uh, a foreign until I got down to it because it looks just like a quarter. But it is a Panamanian quarter from 2018. Awesome! With the Balboa on it. I have some of these older Balboa coins and some of the newer ones and it's they're that's a sweet design. I love it. Come on. There you go. Focus. Yeah. Sweet coin. Good find. Two forens. Fantastic. Put that with the other one. And I'll bring it back when I find something else. Okay, guys. I, I'm pulling you back in because I keep finding these grease errors. And, it, well, this is... I keep I say I keep but it's only the second one that I've found but it's always in the ooh, e pluribus unum and if I can get this to focus here we go I'm sure you guys can see that I don't believe that's wear or damage I think that's just grease the second one I found like that only I think before it was the uh, U and the M or the U and the N that was greased out but anyways it's a good find 1970 pretty good shape all right I'll pull you back in if I find something all right guys I'm uh I'm gonna call it quits it's uh it's getting late and uh I have about I think I think 22 rolls left somewhere around there maybe 20 maybe 23 something like that um but i'm gonna do a little wrap up here of everything that i found in this box and uh, i'm gonna start off with this really nice virginia that um is just loads better than any other virginia i found this one and i wanted to give you guys a little perspective this was made in 2000, minted in 2000, and this was also minted in 2000. And New Hampshire, my home state, represent 2000. South Carolina, 2000. Virginia, there's an identical coin, but it's not as in good uh, shape. And Massachusetts, oddly enough, New Hampshire, Massachusetts, and South Carolina have lived in all three states. And uh, so if you look really close at the difference between these two coins I mean you can tell the difference and the reeds see the difference the reeds are immaculate doesn't like to focus on reeds there we go yeah big difference so I thought that was pretty neat so I'm just gonna hold that aside and uh, I'm going to throw these ones back because they were just for perspective. Um, also, I found these two foreign coins. I found uh, another Balboa from uh, Panama. It's pretty nice. 2018. Almost new. found that 10 cent piece from Bahamas. It's really neat. I've never seen anything like that with that scalloped edge like that. That's pretty cool. I never found anything like that. That's going in the collection. All right, let's see. What is this? This is my, uh, this is a grease error. Definitely a grease error. You can see it. The, it's like E plur un. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's a grease error. I'm going to put it with my other grease errors. I have a little stack here of the, um, Alaska's 2008 Alaska's I'm gonna go through those at another date and I'm gonna put them with uh, a bunch of them that are right here 
so we can go through those at another date. I have, uh, let's see, three Dukes, one Puerto Rico, and two Guams from 09. I have a ooh, San Antonio Missions, going to go into my collection, not going back into circulation, looks pretty decent. It's only a Philadelphia, but that's okay. We're still looking for those W's, but I haven't found any yet. And I just kept these out because they're, they're stunning. They are mostly Lowell's. Lowell's and this one, oddly enough, is from Denver, not Delaware. And it's a 2015, and it looks pretty darn crisp. It is almost new. The reeds, almost like mint. The reeds are pretty fantastic. And I thought it was going to be a 2019 when I pulled it out, but I'm keeping that. Because that's nice. Same with uh, this one. Another nice one. And then we got a War in the Pacific. Another one in the Pacific. And this is a uh, 2018 with perfect reeds. And... Let's see if it'll focus. Yeah, focus on the reeds. It's in really decent shape. I don't have one of the pictured rocks quite so nice. Michigan. So I'm going to keep that one as well. And then there's this one, which is an A&P. So I'm going to keep those. They might upgrade some of my books. I got my, my uh, dirty underground toners here. I'm going to throw them back. I just thought they were neat to show. This one especially, it's like, it's not rainbowy. It's just multicolored. It's like yellow and brown and green and blue. A little bit of orange and red in there. It's just crazy. It's like super multi. Crazy toned. Yeah. I liked it. Spent some time in a puddle on the side of the road. Definitely these did too. Especially this one. Yeah. I love that brown toning. Looks so cool. I might keep that 65. Just cause. This is a 94. And this is a 85. So... I don't know. Maybe we'll set them aside just for a minute. And this one I found. Been through the ringer. He is all kinds of chewed up. I don't even know if you guys can see that, but. Seriously. Chewed up. Chewed up, ground out, spit out. But yeah. Just want to show you that one. He's going back in the tank. What else have we got? Oh, we've got this really, really nice 1988. And I just wanted to show this because uh, 1988 is the birth year of JD on JD's Variety Channel. And uh, I know he always brings it up. So I thought I would bring it up too. It doesn't look so great when you zoom in real close, but it did earlier. Well, I'll throw it back in the tank. Shout out, JD. What's up? Hope you're doing good. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. And then we've got... Let's see. We already went over that guy. Alright, then we've got this guy. That we've already seen. I already showed you guys this guy. This was a silver-plated one I found uh, in the register at work. I wanted to show you the difference between that and a regular one normal so the one on the right is silver plated they're both Philadelphia and this one is just stunning see the difference it's a crazy difference so yeah oh I think my camera just did that crazy flip thing all right sorry about that but yeah how cool is that it's almost like a proof but it's not Philadelphia, maybe. Okay, so I'm going to take a break and uh, I'm going to post this and I will come back to this probably tomorrow or, you know, as soon as I can. But those are my finds from this box. Got 
22, maybe 23 rolls to go. And uh, I'm glad you, you guys uh, joined me. And um, I hope you're having a good new year. And I will talk at you later. Thanks for watching. Bye.